Oh, that's a funny place to wash the dishes, Sam. <laughs> I'm not doing the dishes, Elvis. I'm giving Radar his B-A-T-H. B-A-T-H? Oh, bath! Oh, I love a good bath. You said the word. Radar, here, boy! Oh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> Gotcha! Round two. The obstacle course. Nipper's definitely going to win this round. Dogs are great at obstacle courses, aren't they, boy? <laughs> so are cats, I hope. <laughs> oh, bully. This is not a good time to get stage fright. Come on, Norris. You can do it. Whee! Bravo, Norris. Lifted him over! That's it, Lion! Clever cat! Come on, boy! Go for it! Good dog! Nipper! Oh, this Nipper! Oh! You ate my sausage sandwich! It's all right, boy. Just a quick dip, and then we'll go and play fetch. <laughs> oh! Radar! Oh, dear. It's supposed to be Radar's birthday, not ours. I think I know just the man to call. All right, folks. Let's take a squeeze of the scoreboard. Lion, the superstar kitty, is way out in front. Oh, I can't believe we're being beaten by a guinea pig and a sheep. I'm sorry, Mandy. Sorry to tell you that this proves that cats are better than dogs. Ha! No, it doesn't. There's one more round and Nipper can't fail. Moose, thanks so much for stopping by. Today, you can call me the Doggy Charmer. Any ideas how we can get Radar to take a bath, Moo? <laughs> I, I, I mean, Mr. <laughs> Doggy Charmer. It's simple, eh? All you have to do is act like a dog. <laughs> now that he thinks I'm a dog, I show him how much I love taking a bath. Now, I just need to step out of the bath and then Radar will get in. Whoa! <laughs> Radar, stop! Huh? Well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? <sighs> I can't move for much longer, Mandy. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. Be quiet, Norman. That wasn't the turtle either. It was just a log. I want to go home. The waves are getting huge. Oh, all right, Norman. I suppose I'll never see a real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. OK. <laughs> I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards... <gasps> the cliffs! <laughs> Looks like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look! They're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. Ready, Tom? Roger that, Tim. Up and away! Got you. Now back to Neptune. 
top! What's about me? Don't worry, Norman. I'll be back. you saw was just a seagull. Nothing strange or new. Ha! Changing that book. You'll have to find something else to make you the best explorer. Oh, like a boat. I can see a boat small and white with a sail. My book says that the boat is called a skiff, like the boat we sailed in. That is the boat we sailed in. Mr Evans, our boat's washed out to sea. We're stranded! What? We're going to have to live on the island. I can't live here. I'm having fish fingers for tea. Oh, dear. Oh, what are we going to do? We're castaways. OK. I need to get some grass. And branches. James? What are you doing to my sausages? I'm going to do some smoke signals. My book shows you how to send up three puffs of smoke in an emergency. Oh, that's very clever. What? Three smoke signals. That means an emergency. The pioneers must be in trouble on the island. I'd better call Fyman Sam. <laughs> no Sam in here. Now I can write my speech. There's an SOS coming from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, take Neptune to the island and make sure the pioneers are safe. Right you are, Sam. For making the smoke signals. You're the best explorer here. We might even have time for sausages while help is on its way. But I'm the best explorer and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to send the biggest smoke signals ever. No, Norman! Stop! <gasps> ah! <gasps> says that uh, in the event of an island fire to uh, move away to the shore. Oh, yes. Well done, James. Now, life vests on everyone. Oh, I take my fluffy flag to the finishing line. Up. Three, two, one! Please don't let it blow up. Ignition! Rocky Blaster coming through! This is so completely unfair! Turn! Turn! 
Where's Dad? He's heading towards the quay. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! He's gone off the end, eh? <gasps> He's heading out to sea. I usually do that. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Joe Sparks is heading out to sea at speed on a rocket-powered hover cart. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. I might need backup. Island and have to draw a vice on a football so I've got someone to talk to! Whoa! 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 Oh. Sorry, Sam. I didn't think it would go as fast as that. That's all right, Joe, as long as you're OK. Well, I have to say, it was faster than mine. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Uh, no, you two. And the winner of this year's Ponty Pandy Cup is... Norman Price. Oh, Hooray! Yay! 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 Oh, we're stuck in the snow. We're going to have to wait for help. Oh, no! What about the concert? I know. Maybe we could walk the rest of the way. What a totally brilliant idea. But it's quite a long way. And it's really cold out. Quite right. We should stay here and wait for help. Oh, please. Mum. I don't think so, Hannah. It'll be really hard for you in your chair. I've got my snow wheels on. I'll be fine. Listen, everybody. I know it's cold. I know it's snowy. But we're so close to seeing our favourite boy band in the whole wide world. And we're going to be in the front row. We are strong women. And Trevor, we can make it through a bit of snow. Mandy's right. We can do it. Well, I suppose, if we all stick together... And it isn't that far to Newtown. And I would quite like to see them, especially Larry. Yay! Let's go! One-way street, here we come! Oh, dear. Oh, I suppose I'd better go with them and keep them safe. You gotta get where you're going. And keep on walking, gotta get where you're going. Here you go, little old lady. Try these hand warmers. Oh, it's too hot! My poor little old lady head! Don't worry, station officer, little old lady. Try this lovely warm soup instead. Oh, hot, hot! It's too hot! My poor little old lady mouth! That little old lady's very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Oh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we are in the front row. And look, there's Newtown. Come on. I can see a shortcut. We're nearly there. Mandy, remember your Ponty Pandy pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm OK, Mum. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. Sarah, you just completely spoiled my science party. I didn't. It was an accident. No! No, Dad! That's sodium! Water will make it burst into the Find out! No! This isn't supposed to happen! 
James is right. Everybody keep calm and move outside. Outside, come on. But, but it was just starting to get good. I'll call Fireman Sam. <gasps> A chemical fire at the whole fish cafe? There's a chemical fire at the whole fish cafe. Mandy's there. <gasps> oh, no. And my Norman. Come on, let's go. What kind of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium! But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher Sam will use. I've got it! So have I! Because, because when in, in doubt, doubt, you can't can fight fire with Sam. <laughs> you have got it! You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> now this is Titan, our new firefighting boat. Uh, now, where are the water tanks? Uh, Titan doesn't have any water tanks, sir. She pumps water from the ocean. Oh, does she really? Marvellous. Yes, and if you like... Um, do you know any sailor's knots, Ben? Of course I do. Basic nautical training. Ooh, can you teach me one? Of course. Let's start with a sheep shack. Imagine this end is a little brown eel. Oh, I will. I love eels. Little brown eel comes out of the cave, slips into the hole, out of the hole, and back in the cave again. Oh, can I have a go? Of course. Well, better go and make myself at home. Right. A uh, little brown eel slips into the hole. Now let's go and see Juno, our hole. new speedboat. I uh, think you'll find she's a jet ski, sir. Who is she? Back into the it's cave, marvellous. Comes back out for the... Uh, I'm not sure this is right. I can't seem to move. Wait for me! Get you! The platform's a bit small, Mike. Will it be safe letting your fireworks off on here? I'm not going to be setting them off here. I'll be setting them off from the safety of the key. With this, my detonator. Whoa! Not found me sea legs yet. Are you sure you don't need any help, Mike? No, I'll be fine. I'll have these fireworks sorted in no time. Well, if you're sure. Ooh, I'll just put this safely over here. He can go as fast as 50 miles per hour. Would that be knots, sir? Oh, yes. Uh, knots. <laughs> you all know Neptune. So that's the tour finished. Where have you been, Cridlington? Oh, sorry, sir. I got to bit them tied up. Oh, dear. Ooh, it's getting a bit breezy. Will my 
Mike be all right out there? I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh! 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 oh what? Wait! Phew! <laughs> gotcha! Oh! Whoa! Oh, no. I've sat on my button. Uh-oh. Oh! Get off! Get off, you rocket! Avalanche! Have a what? Sam? <gasps> Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. OK, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practised. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. Hello, They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it! Oh, thanks, Penny! <laughs> Woo You're safe now. Thanks, Uncle Sam. You really shouldn't have gone beyond the boundary ropes. They're there to protect you from danger. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to make a really scary movie. Well, Norman, you might have made it a little too scary. <gasps> Maybe I did. Quiet, everyone. Time for my movie. Who dares disturb my slumber? <laughs> safe now. Well done, kids. Best movie I've ever seen. It's the scariest movie I've ever seen. Great! Now I'm going to make the best disaster movie ever. It will be called the Bum Bum Ba Towering Big Fire! I think we'd better be on high alert for that one, Penny. <laughs> does it get hot, Joe? <laughs> yes, Mandy, it does. Hot enough to cook stuff. His sausage, for example. We just pop it down right here. And watch it sizzle. Nothing's happening. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. One cloud in the sky and it just happens to come along right now. I've got an idea. Why don't we all go over to your barbecue? You know, the one with the charcoal and the heat. Good idea, Hannah. And Dad? Yes, Hannah? Please take off the hat. Come on, you like it, really? <sighs> Nothing like a nice cold glass of orange juice when you've been working in the hot sun, eh, Penny? Mmm, you're right there, Sam. Um, have you lost something, Station Officer Steele? Yeah, I thought I had one of my delicious strawberry lollies in the fridge, but I can't find it. Fridlington, you're licking my strawberry sensation! I'm sorry, sir. Would you like it back? No, it's all right, Fridlington. I'll just have a glass of water. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <sighs> At 
lass. A normal barbecue with sausages that are actually cooking. I'll have you know the Sunomatic GTC is a perfectly good cooking device. And now that cloud is gone, the sun will be cooking that sausage in no time. It's on fire! That doesn't look quite right. Oh, my! The, 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 oh, the sunny mattress heebie-jeebie is on fire! It's the Sunomatic GTC, actually. We'd better call Fireman Sam! No, it's only a sausage. Leave it to me. Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Quick, do! Put the water back on! We need to put it out! You can't put that out with water, Mandy. That's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It explodes! Explodes? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Oh, oh, uh, uh. The, the flood's garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. Get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foam. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. Heads out, Penny. All safe. Phew. I'm sorry, Mum. And I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to give my mum the perfect garden. Don't worry, Mandy. It was a nice thing to try to do. It was, Mandy. Thank you. <sighs> but it looks like we have a bit more work to do. We can help you, Helen. I do like a bit of gardening. Hmm. I think we need a bit more fertilizer spread around these flower beds first, Mandy. Norman, that's your job. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, Norman. I'll help you. 